mentioned your name somewhere in a, in a conversation, then people will go check you out, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I've been, um, on my reaction stuff, I've been getting people, like some of the Christian rappers commenting on it and stuff. I've even had, I've had Dylan Chase comment. I've had Wande comment. Um, That's dope. I've had, dang, who else? Um, I think 1K P Sun, I think, might have commented. I can't, I can't remember. It was one of the other ones, too. Oh, and then, um, dang, can't remember his name right now. But, yeah, so it's recording good on my end, so we can start now. So, All right. Uh, so when's this album coming out? Um, I'm, I'm shooting for March. I'm not, I'm not totally sure yet because right now I'm going to be pushing this first single, Why? And depending on how that goes and the, the things that come from that, I may just release a few singles and then drop the album. I'm not sure yet. I have some people that are on board right now helping out that um, came aboard recently, last couple months, which is really awesome. Because everything up until that point I was doing on my own. Oh, you know, it's okay, a lot yeah. of work, bro. People don't realize how much work it is. You know, it's not just going to the studio recording songs. You got to do everything, bro. It's hard. Oh, yeah. Market everything, promote everything. Yeah. And you so, got to have money. Oh, yeah. Definitely that, too. Yeah. If you ain't, if you, if you ain't, if you ain't got no money, bro, ain't nobody going to know who you are. Yep, exactly. It don't matter how good your music is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because if there's nobody out there to listen to it or it reach them, yeah. It's just exactly. out there floating around. Yeah, exactly. So have you been able to, like, get someone to, like, invest in your stuff? Or you just been kind of, like, working extra hard with your job and stuff to kind of, like, promote your own stuff? Or how are you well, doing all that? R right now I'm kind of financially handcuffed. I mean, I'm still able to record, but I don't have the money I, I need to shoot the videos that I want, you know, like, they're going to be high quality videos. I'm, I'm not shooting nothing low budget, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, definitely. And so I'm, I'm waiting on a couple of settlements. I had a car accident, you know, I was involved in almost three years ago. That's finally going to mediation in April. So once that gets resolved, I'll have a lot, a lot more room to play with, um, with stuff that I want to get accomplished. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not yeah. discouraged at all. It's just handcuffing me. Like right now, if I had that settlement money, I could easily shoot like three high quality videos, get all the PR marketing I need. And so that's kind of frustrating from one sense, but then I'm realizing that God's in control no matter what, and it's all going to happen in his time. So I'm not really upset because I know this music is going to, is going to take off at some point. So I just got to keep doing what I'm doing and, and just, you know, let it all fall into place. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So what's like one of your ideas for one of your music videos that you're trying to, or that you kind of just have like going on in your head? Well, the, for the one, for the song, why the lead single, um, I talked to the videographer. He's the, I, I basically let people kind of, you know, bring what they bring creatively to the table. Cause I don't want to be one of those guys that dictates to everybody. Hey, I want this. I want, I like letting people get excited and passionate about what's going on. So if you allow them to be you know, free creatively to come up with ideas. I think then they get more invested and then they want to do their best work as well because their name's on it too, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And so the video he had, he said he wanted to put me on a rotating stage hmm. with these creep with these creepy-looking dolls surrounding me, which obviously is a, is a reflection of the world we live in right now with all the evil that's going on. And so it would just be a performance shot where I'm kind of spinning on this rotating stage and oh, okay. just rapping to the camera with these crazy looking dolls. But that'll be like the main thing. But then he said he was going to fly in like, you know, like still shots from like what's going on in the world right now. You know, stuff that, that we're all dealing with, you know, in our, in our society. Oh, okay, so I, yeah. thought that, I, thought, I thought that was pretty cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, honestly, I could. Yeah, I could actually imagine that coming out really, really good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Like, kind of dark, but not, like, dark where it's, like, you're not, you're going to look at it and be like, dude, this guy's a Christian? Like, really, bro? Like, <laughs> this video's, <laughs> like, this video's demonic. I would never do something like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, for the song Happy, bro, I need a bigger budget because the lyrical, the lyrical story I'm telling in that, yeah. is, it's, it's just, 
undeniable, bro. Like, it's crazy. Hey, hold on real quick, my brother. Okay, yeah, definitely. Hold on. Hello? Yep, we're good. Are you ready to go? Are we doing the interview or, we, or have we been doing the interview? No, we've been doing it. <laughs> yeah, once okay. I, yeah, I've been recording it. So I don't see you. That's what I was asking. Oh, dang. You don't? Mm -mm. I just see the circle with TT on it, your name. Huh, that's weird. Okay, let's give me a second. So you better hope that don't show up. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> now, all I can see is your screen. Um, wow. Yeah, so I was like, and I, that's why I was like, okay, maybe he sees my, like, sees me, but I don't know. <laughs> nah, all I'm seeing is the circle with TT on it. Huh. Let me see. Um, is it good now, or, or did anything change on there, or no? Nah, I don't see you at all, brother. Huh. That's weird. Technology, man. Just when you think you got it figured out. Right, exactly. <laughs> Um, let's see. That's so weird. No, I've, I, yeah, honestly, I've never really used Skype before. I just was like, uh, haven't really used that app and I don't have anything else on my computer. So I was like, let's yeah. see. Um. By the way, I'm boycotting Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I went through the drive through a few months back. And the person took my order was like 10 feet away from me. And she was like, can you put on your mask? And I said, I'm not putting on my mask. I'm sitting in my own car. Like, what are you talking about? She's yeah. like, well, you got to put on your mask. And then two of the other employees came up. And then they caused this big commotion. I'm in this big, long line of cars. I just want to get food and leave, you know? Yeah. And so they just said that I wasn't complying. I said, bro, you guys are making no sense. Like, if I was outside and we're all together, of course, I'll wear a mask, you know, and, and not, you know, go crazy about it or walk into stores or my job. Sometimes I have to put on the mask, you know, when I pick up and drop at clients. But, yeah. like, if I'm sitting in my own car, bro, nobody's going to tell me what to do, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Like, why would I put on a mask in my own car while you're standing outside of my car? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I just, I just didn't understand that, bro. And then I and I asked the guy, I go, isn't this a Christian owned business? He's all it is. And he goes, I'm acting more like a Christian than you are. And I just started laughing, bro. I said, you know what? I said, I need to get out of this line, bro. This is out of control right now. Huh. You people wow. you pe you people are being weird, bro. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's weird. It's out here in LA, bro, the belly of the beast, man. We got all the weirdos out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I, I honestly, yeah, I see it all on the news. <laughs> <laughs> I see it all on the news. Yeah, man, it's crazy out here, bro. Like it's, that's why I'm so glad I'm working. I'm staying busy, staying in the word. You know, I'm just doing everything I did when I first came to the look, first gave my life to Christ. So nothing has really changed on my end except for the fact everything around me is different. Yeah. You know, I see people get on elevators when I'm at work and I'm like, wow, like, look at these people are just like, they're just, they're like, they just look like they're lost, bro. Like, like you're getting on an elevator. It's no big deal. You'll be off. To 10 15 seconds and we're gone right. but other pe other people i meet they seem like they're handling it pretty well but I, I see a lot of people are not handling it well at all they're really in panic mode if they walk by you if you're not wearing a mask like when i go jogging in the morning of course i ain't gonna wear a mask bro it's gonna restrict my breathing and i see people walking with wearing masks they get a they get away from me like when i'm jogging it's so funny bro yeah i'm just like man you people are tripping Wow, bro, look at that guy. <laughs> Does it work now? I just see me. I don't see you. <laughs> All right. Okay. I was wondering what, what you know, that thing was It looks doing. like it's in slow-mo. <laughs> Does it? Let's see. It's on computer screen. Like I looked like I was like a little robot like moving in slow motion. <laughs> Do you see anything now? Are you on a lap are you on a laptop or your desktop? Uh desktop. So you're using me as the guinea pig, like all these people getting the vaccines. <laughs> Kinda, not really. <laughs> is it sh is showing anything now? 
Nah, man. Still it's just that there. little TT. That little. It's that little white circle with the initials TT on it. Huh. Yeah, that is very weird. Well, I mean, at least on my end, I could see both of us. Like on my okay, cool. on the that's program. So yeah, that's why. I just want really, yeah. to make sure for you, you're good. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to see you, bro. I just want to make yeah. sure you're all right. Yeah, no, everything's good on my end, so we'll be good. Okay, when cool. you actually see the actual video, you'll see me on it. <laughs> okay, cool. Right now, we're just seeing TT, bro. I'm cool with that. Yeah, until next time, I'll figure out the little stuff with this and figure out the camera. <laughs> All right, sounds good. But yeah, so um, so how's LA out there with like the music scene and just like, because I, I heard that you kind of you know lifted the lockdown a little bit, right? Newsom kind of did that. Um, for, honestly, like for music, I, I'm, I'm working, you know, on my album, I met another, uh, Christian artist, um, through the studio I'm going to record at and he's really, he's really doing something, man. Awesome for, for the, for the Lord, bro. Like his music is, um, it sounds different than mine, but it still has the power, you know, the, the power behind it from, from the Holy spirit, you know, moving through him. And yeah. we're going to do a couple of songs together. So oh, that's okay, awesome. Nice. That we actually met, you know, at the same studio. Because, you know, you got to kind of build your own little circle of like, like-minded believers and creatives and, and come together. And God will bring those people in your life when, it, when it's time. And I'm starting to see like that now happening where we're, we're all starting to come together. Because you got you to gotta get together with like-minded believers. You're not all going to, like if I got to together with somebody like Dayton and Bizzle and other you know guys like would we all really vibe because you know if we're all Christian of course we're going to get along on a biblical level but are we going to get along personality wise because you got to yeah. you got to take into consideration everything some people are more laid back some people are more hyperactive some people are really you know just kind of like introverted I guess so to speak you know on certain or levels just serious about their craft yeah just different yeah, personalities yeah. So, and everything yeah yeah, exactly. So you just got to find the right people to vibe with. And I feel like now I'm finally, you know, starting to, you know, have those people come in my path, which is cool. Right. Um, but, you know, it, it's difficult, bro. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie, man, because I on my job, I actually can meet a lot of people in the industry. So I went to Live Nation, which is, I think, the biggest company for live events. And I asked the guy, I said, hey, man, so what's the game plan moving forward? you know, with you guys. He's like, to be honest with you, bro, he goes, I don't even know. I said, what do you mean? I go, you got to have some information. He said, well, basically they were talking about the earliest they would start doing shows again is like in the fall of this year. And if not, then 2022. So I'm thinking in my mind, everybody that's getting ready to release an album or put out a project, singles, <clears> whatever <throat> you're doing, you're probably not going to be able to perform live anywhere unless you go to places where their restrictions have been lifted. So it yeah. might be isolated places you can go perform, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you can, you know, get out there to, to – because to me, when you when you perform live, that's what's going to separate you from most artists. Like, your live performance is on point. That's where people really get excited about what you're doing, you know, music-wise. Like, you can go in the studio and make great music, but if, you, if you're not a good performer on, on the live standpoint – People are going to be let down, you know, especially if they really like the music that you're, you're, you're putting out there, you know? Oh, yeah, exactly. And so I, have, I, haven't had a, I haven't had a chance to perform yet, but what I am going to do is I have a friend who's a DJ. Um, we were talking about maybe doing a live streaming thing. I'm not sure yet. I know for sure I'm going to film him on the turntables, playing the song Why, like, you know, transforming, cutting up on the record, mixing the song. Like, I want to get some footage of that which I think will be cool, you yeah. know, for the DJs to see that. And then um, maybe do some live, like, me rapping, you know, the song. We got to figure out a way, like, where we're going to do it at, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I don't know if these places that, you know, you can go rehearse at if they're even open right now. I'm not sure, you know what I'm saying? So I got to look into that. But I do want to do yeah. some kind of, you know, live performing just to, like, kind of, like, get ready, you know, in case things do kind of open up at some point. So I'm ready to, you know, go go out there and perform, bro, this music. Because I have a feeling, bro, this music is going to take off at some point this year. I don't know exactly when. I just know I, the people I've just come in contact with recently, 
they're all on board. They're trying to help, you know, get the song out, getting write-ups and articles. Like I said, the song, the single just went to radio in Chicago. So we'll see where it goes from there. You know, you got you to gotta start small and just, and just see where it builds, see where, you know, what markets pick up on the song. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. So have you thought about trying to get your, well, when you actually get the music video done and stuff, are you thinking of trying to get it on Rapzilla or like Matt Bold's Christian um, hip hop YouTube channel or anything? Or You, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I might be the only rap. I mean, I don't even like everybody says Christian rap artist or Christian hip hop, whatever. Obviously, I'm a Christian, and yeah. most people who are Christian doing music creators, they're in the CHH community. But I'm gonna be real honest with you, bro. I feel like I've had some run-ins with a few people, and I had a talk with uh, Chad Horton, obviously, who's the guy who runs Rapzilla. And yeah. me and him, me and him had some disagree. We had some words, bro, like disagreeing on certain things. And this is no joke, bro. He actually blocked me from Rapzilla, the page and his own personal page. Oh, wow. And I actually sent him an email apologizing about it all a couple months prior to that. And he never responded to that. So that's on him now. And, and you know, yeah. I always felt I, I, I don't need Rapzilla for my music to get out to the world. It would be nice. It's an... It's 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 something that would be, you know, welcome, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I just think it's kind of strange that I'm the only guy that got blo that got blocked by this dude. Like I know other people have had run-ins with him in the past. I don't know, I can't speak, you know, about everybody, but yeah. if I'm one guy and I and I had a disagreement with you about something, you didn't like what I said, so I challenged you, and then we're both like in disagreement does that really warrant you from blocking somebody like to me that's petty that's kind of childish bro if you really look at it because i would never block somebody like if somebody was coming at me in a real you know disrespectful way of course you don't want to go back and forth with people because that means at that point you're not being led by the spirit you're in your flesh you know and you don't want to be going back and forth with people you know what i'm saying because that kind of kills your testimony you know what i'm saying yeah exactly and yeah. So that, that, that actually really happened. So it was kind of like, is it going to ever come back where, like, I can work with Rapzilla? I don't know. That's up to him now, you know. But like I said, I sent him an email. I apologized. You know, I, I said something that was really, you know, uh, it came from my heart, bro. Like, because, you know, early on in my walk, bro, I was so on fire for the Lord. And I was seeing so much compromise. And, I, and my spirit was greed. And, I'm see and people were telling me, hey, bro, that's just how it is. The industry, you can't. And, but I was, like, taking it more serious. Like, man, like, th this guy is the curator for Christian hip-hop. Yeah. Why yeah. is it that you're putting out so much music that doesn't even glorify God? Like, that's how I took it. And so it's my fault for getting involved in that back and forth with him. You know, I'm, I'm man enough and, hum and, and humbled myself at that time knowing, okay, what could I have done better? Could I have said something better? Can I make it better moving forward? I don't know. You know, God's in control of everything no matter what. If me and him meet in the future somewhere, you know, I'll talk to him face to face if that ever happens. But just actually getting my music on that Rapzilla platform, I don't see it happening. Unless this thing that we're doing now, or you know somebody knows him to talk to him, reach out to him. I don't know, to be honest with you, my brother. Like, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing, making this music and... If it doesn't go the avenue or the route with Rapzilla, obviously there's other ways to, to get your music out there. So maybe my music isn't meant to be just confined to the CHH community. Maybe God has bigger plans for it. Maybe it's going to go over to mainstream secular radio. I don't know, bro. I won't know until like it starts going out. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, exactly. Everything happens for a reason, too. So, But yeah, like, like I said, there's the Matt Bold one, which is just like... Rapzilla, so the one big difference I've noticed from Rapzilla to, like, Matt Bold's Christian YouTube channel, um, mm -hmm. they do upload um, Christian hip-hop, but Rapzilla is kind of, like, stuff that might pop with, like, mainstream, you know, music, too. Mm -hmm. But the Matt Bold one is kind of, like, I would say kind of, like, Lecrae, like, rebel-type Christian hip hop with all the Bible verses and everyone really digging into scripture and stuff uh -huh. like that. So there is a difference between both of theirs. So 
you know, you can always try that. And then there's also Ruslan. He does his um, fan, um, I think, Fan Love Friday, where he actually mm-hmm. is doing a live stream and he's playing an, any artist, Christian artist or regular artist, and playing their music videos live on stream and giving his critique mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So you can always go down that route, too. That's another person. There's two people I had run-ins with. Rap, oh, okay. Chad Horton and Rapzilla. And I had a run-in with Ruslan. Because me and Ruslan actually did a song together. Okay, yeah. You were telling this me about good. that on our first interview. I remember that. Yeah, so I did a song with Ruslan. It was it was before I started making all this new music. And so I, was, I had done about maybe 10 to 12 songs. And then I reached out to him. And then, you know... I wanted to get him to feature on a song. And so I went in to record my parts, sent him my parts. He did his parts. He didn't think the song was that good. I felt different. That's fine. It's not a, you know, it's just a matter of opinion, like what you really think, you know, you like or what somebody else likes. You know, it's it's all subjective, bro. Like some people like this, some people don't. It could be a, a song like sells 20 million copies, but you got people that just don't like it. It's not their thing. And that's fine. I have no problem yeah. with that. The, the running that we had was just a discussion of like, like if I'm if I'm reaching out to you and 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 I'm asking for you like you're it's not like I'm asking for help. But at the same time, like you're wanting them to feature on your song to kind of open up some doors to because this is a new world to me. This is a new arena. Yeah. He's more established. He's been established in this arena. So I felt like if I could get, you know, somebody on the song from that arena, it would help open doors. And then I could meet other people, but that never obviously came about because of, you know, me and him didn't agree on certain things. And that's fine, bro. It's like, like I said, like this was like maybe six months ago this happened. Oh, and, a okay. lot has cha- and a lot has changed since then. Maybe it was longer than that. But I just know once I started making this new song, the two I just sent you, everything changed from that point on. So it's like, don't worry about this. God will take care of everything. You you handle everything that you're doing. I can only grow from the situation. I'm sure Ruslan's had differences with other people, as as you have. We all have. So it's yeah. just certain people you're not going to mesh with. You're not going to vibe with, for whatever reason. And when the one thing I did take away from Ruslan that really was kind of like eye opening for me was he asked me like we were talking in the DM, and he asked me. He goes, "Do you think you're a great rapper?" And I took that as a slight, like he was actually saying I wasn't good at what I was doing. And he doesn't realize this, but he actually woke up the rap monster, whatever you want to call it, like the, like, I'm going to prove everybody wrong now. And that's when all these songs started coming about. And I'm telling you, bro, like, (laughs) it's almost like you don't want to wake up the sleeping giant, so to speak. Not saying I'm this giant, like, credible artist, but I felt like he lit that extra fire. And now everybody's going to see what, what came about from that. And me being honest about it, open and candid about it, I hope it opens up people's eyes to see, like, just because you don't get along with certain people or you have disagreements doesn't mean you can't move forward and still, you know, do what God's calling you to do to be a blessing to others. So I have no hard feelings towards Ruslan or Chad Horton from Rapzilla. Yeah. You know, it was, it was a learning experience with both situations. And I feel like I'm in a better place now than I was then. So that has to speak volumes to what God is doing in my life because, you know, some people you're not meant to work with, some people you're not meant to collab with, you're not meant to be on a platform with, whatever the case may be. But it doesn't mean you're still not going to do what you're doing. You're just going to go on a different route. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens, where God's going to take it ultimately, because it's all in God's timing, as you know, and I know, and everybody else knows this. You just got to be obedient and do your part, because we all have a part to play. You can't just sit back and say, all right, God, this is what you called me to do. I'm waiting on you. Like, no, that's not what that's not how it works, bro. You have to put you have to activate your faith and actually put, you know, effort towards making this thing. You're meeting God where he's at and you're doing your part. And then God does the rest. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's basically what it is. You know what I mean? So the to me, the, the, the music speaks volumes, you know, from, from those two situations, how the music sounded then to where it is now. It's like a whole different artist. Like, it's almost like I can't believe it. It's that it's that crazy, unreal to me, bro. That's why I told you earlier. I was like, sometimes I feel like I'm in a dream. 
Like, is this really happening? You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro, to be real with you. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, everything happens for a reason. And maybe, you know, you had to go through the little situation with Ruslan to kind of, like you said, you know, wake up the sleeping giant or to kind of get that fire lit, you know. Maybe that was the one little thing that you just needed a little bit more of. And, you know, God just used the situation to kind of give that to you. <laughs> so you never know. <laughs> you never know, bro. <laughs> that was so funny. But, um, you know, I'm appreciative of everything, bro, whether it's good or bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's yeah, the whole thing here, about. Yeah, same here. That's the whole thing about, you know, surrendering your life to Christ. Not everything is going to be smooth. Not everything is going to go your way you know like there's going to be times where you're going to be your faith is going to be tested or you know you're going to come upon situations where god's trying to test you and teach you and until you learn those lessons he's trying to teach you you're going to continue i believe to stay in the same place until you learn those lessons and the biggest thing i took away like i told you early on in my walk i was like i felt like i was shot out of a cannon with a fireball and god's like get busy time's running out end times you know that whole mentality and I was focused on gaining godly wisdom and discernment. But the more I started going in that direction, I felt God tugging on my heart saying, I want you to love on people. Don't forget that. That's the most important. And so the last like year, my whole focus and my walk with Christ is just loving on people, bro. And just, you know, sharing the love of Christ. And that's why I was telling you about the whole homeless outreach. I got these backpacks made up with the the. I put the I got the Bible scripture embroidered on the backpacks. Oh, nice. Proverbs fourteen, thir Proverbs fourteen thirty one, and I felt like you know at my job because you know out here in L A it's bad, bro. The homeless the homeless community is is it's it's very rampant right now. I'm talking about everywhere you go, bro. You just see like like a hundred tents lined up on the street, and you realize these people have no home. This is where they live, and so my heart was hurting, bro. And then I felt like the Lord was just putting on my heart to help them. So if I'm in a position to help them, then I'm going to do it because I feel like we all should do that on some level. And so I'm actually getting more excited and I feel more rewarded from doing that than the actual music, which the music obviously is my number one. I love it. It's, it's a blessing to be talented and have a gift to make music for, you know, glorifying our creator, but the actual helping people who are in, who are in serious, desperate need, Bro, it doesn't get any better, man. It feels so good to see the look on these people's faces when I tell them what I'm doing with the homeless outrage. And they're all excited, bro. Like, I've met, like, three homeless people. I got their names. They said they're going to help me out and, like, navigating who to give them to and talk to them and, you know, share the love of God with them, bro. It's it's super exciting, bro. I'm, I'm like, really, like, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, bro. As, as you can tell as I'm talking about it, man. I can't I can't wait to get this thing off, off and running, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, um... How many, like, backpacks and stuff are you, like, planning on trying to give out? Well, right now I just made up 20. Oh, okay. Um, so, like I told you, I got the embroidery on the on the backpack. I want to make sure when these people get these backpacks, you know, they have Bibles in it, um, socks and gloves because it's really cold out there on the streets, obviously, some snacks. And uh, it's funny enough, the homeless people I ran into, they said, hey, Sean, make sure you put in those Bibles. Don't forget to put in the Bibles. And that's yeah. how you know that's confirm that's confirmation from God, because the last thing you're thinking a homeless person is going to tell you is, "Hey, make sure you put a Bible in that thing." Right. They would you would think they would say something else besides that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the exactly. fact that they said, "Hey, yeah," but but the fact that they said, "Make sure you put the Bibles in," that was confirmation to me that this is what I should be doing. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, exactly. You know, and yeah. You know, like sometimes like we feel a little surprised, especially when they say, hey, just make sure to put that Bible in. You're like, ah, you're like, <laughs> you're like, I wasn't going to forget that. But it's really awesome yeah. and amazing that you actually, you know, told me to remember to do that. So like, yeah, definitely confirmation for sure on that. So so check this out, bro. So three people. One guy's name was Brooks. He's over on Wilshire Boulevard in the mid Wilshire area. This guy named Silver, who's over there in the Westwood area, right there off of Wilshire and uh, and Sepulveda. There's this big, like, because uh, there's a cemetery right there for the military, you know, the, the ones that have passed on. Oh, yeah. And there's all these homeless tents, like, lined up on the street right there, bro. And I'm just, I'm driving by every day at my job, just like, my heart hurts, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, 
it's just so sad seeing these people out here. And so I met that guy, Silver. He, he stays right there in that area. And then I met this girl named Callie. Funny, her name is Callie because that's where we're at in California. And she's, she walks up and down the stretch right here by in Hollywood, bro. Like right as you're leaving Hollywood to go to the valley side. Yeah. And she walks with her, her little dog on her chest. And she's just, you know, she's just trying to get help. And I told her about what's going on, what God put on my heart. And she was so excited. I could see her eyes light up. And I said, I'm going to come back and I'm going to see you. And I said, what color backpack do you want? She goes, make sure I get a black one. So you <laughs> can see the excitement. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, because, like, they don't see that. You know, they just kind of, you know, see the, like, pity of, like, oh, here's a dollar or whatever. Or just, like, you know, even the let me just avoid them and walk away and stuff like that. So, yeah, to actually see someone care, Sorry. you know, it, it means a lot more. You is... um. You do it after the interview. Yeah, I'm going to edit it into it. And okay, then when cool. I actually do the other thing, um, yeah, I'll edit into it. And then on the audio version, I'll have it in there too. So, Hey, let, let me ask you something. Can you hear this right here? Oh, yeah, I can hear that perfect. Okay. Yeah. I want to bless you one time. Listen to the song. You ready? Oh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, definitely. Let me turn that down, bro. That's too much, man. I'm getting, I'm getting too pumped up right now, bro. But you get what I'm saying, bro? Like it's like once I had that situation with Ruslan, and I was like, you know what? I go, I'm putting too much stock in this, and it's no knock against Ruslan and what he's done, and 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 his whole, you know. Uh, his whole time, you know, while he's been, you know, in CHH making, you know, music yeah. and now he's doing the podcast thing. And then, uh, uh, not, I don't know if it's a podcast, but whatever he's doing, like, 
you know, his, his thing helping out, you know, creatives and stuff. You know, I wish him nothing but the best, bro, to be real with you, bro. I, I don't harbor no ill feelings towards nobody. Everything has been a lesson, a blessing, and it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And it's like me and him may break bread one day. You never know what God has planned out for us. This whole situation, yeah, exactly. this whole situation could end up being the best thing for both of us moving forward. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, imagine yeah. Imagine my album comes out and it just blows up and like the whole world is just like tripping like, wow, this guy's a Christian. These songs like blend in with the mainstream like this is insane what's going on. And then me and Ruslan cross paths and then we just break bread and chop it up and say, hey, man, I just want to tell you, bro, I appreciate you, man. Because when we both had words with each other, I was like, man, I didn't know being involved in Christian music, I would have like disagreements <laughs> with my brothers, you know, but stuff happens and it ended up being more beneficial in the long run you get what i'm saying yeah and exactly to, and i have to, exactly. I have to i have to look at it that way because you can tell by somebody when you speak to them if they still hold you know uh, if they're still holding a grudge or they got hatred towards somebody like yeah you can't be a christian and be hating nobody let's just be real bro you know yeah you, very you, true you can have disagreements with people and stuff like that but don't let it lead you to anger or to hate, have hatred towards somebody. Because if you do that, you don't have the love of God in you, bro. Let's just be real with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you got you got to forgive people, man. You know that that's a big thing is forgiveness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, very big thing. And I know you know what's up because when I talk to you, bro, I can tell you know, you know, you have this peace about you, bro. You're very well reserved. You're very low key. You know, you're not all over the place. Me and you have a very similar vibe. I think that's why when we talk the way we do now, it's kind of like we're brothers, but we're just like bouncing off each other and, and we're, yeah. just enjoy we're just enjoying the moment and the conversation. We're very similar in our demeanor, I think. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's why. I, yeah, I, yeah, I agree completely. Like we vibe really well. It just like goes very smooth. It doesn't even feel like it's like me being in like me interviewing you. It just seems like us just having normal yeah. conversation. Yeah. Let's put, it, let's put it this way. If the society opens up and God gives us a reprieve and we're able to get out there and really minister to people through this music and, and, uh, and, and just sharing the gospel with everybody that needs to know Christ. Imagine I hit your town and I say, bro, check this out. God has been so good. I want to know what your schedule's like in the next six months. Cause bro, this thing is bigger than i ever could imagine i want you to come on tour with us bro all expenses paid you're gonna have a job oh, yeah. so that you're the type of dude that i could see myself just doing that with because we just vibe well i know you'll vibe with my other brothers in christ that will be a part of this whole journey and that's something that i think god you know is doing in people's lives because we're all on our own individual journey with christ but then he puts people in your path you know as you're continuing to move forward, you know, and grow in your faith. And then you're going to meet like-minded brothers who you're just going to line link up with. And you guys are going to do amazing things for the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, definitely. And I will definitely say yes. So, to so that. tell you, so <laughs> tell your lady, if it happens, she, she's more than welcome to come too. Cause I don't want okay, you, to yeah. say you, to, you to be missing her and stuff. If we go out for like a long period of time, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely. And we, I'll, I'll be we'll, awesome. make, we'll make sure we got the, we got, we got the big tour bus, bro. So everybody can be on that comfortable. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so, bro. Oh, my gosh. So I gave you the song Why and the song Happy. Yeah. And I just played the song Fake Friends for you in my car. Could you hear it or was it like muffled? No, I actually heard it really clear. It was like really, really good. So you yeah. can hear it clear. <laughs> yeah. Can I bless you with one more song? And this is it. Yeah, yeah go for it. Go I'm for gonna it. Have 12, I have 12 songs on the album. I already have eight done. I'm going to the studio Tuesday to do two more. So that'll be 10. Once I have the 12 done, all right, cool. Then put those 12 songs to the side and then start working on the second album. Like, that's where I'm oh, at yeah. creatively, bro. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, turn, I'm just like going in the studio, knocking out song after song. And when I meet Ruslan, I'm going to shake his hand and say, I appreciate you, bro. This is what happened after you and I had our little disagreement. Listen to all this music, bro. This, oh, this, yeah, this, exactly. This, this is what it all turned into after, you know, the situation that was between you and I. And I just want to let you know, man, I appreciate you, bro. It's all love. No, 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 no hard feelings, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know he's going to get it when I tell it to him. If that if that does, you know, happen where we get to, you know, actually meet up in person and, and discuss things, because that would be amazing if we were able to do that. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, um, yeah, Definitely. 
we'll see how it goes. So I'm deciding whether or not should I, I'm going to let you choose. I have a song called The King, which obviously you know who that's about. And oh, yeah. I ha- and then I have a song called Wonderful. So you you pick which one you want to hear, bro. Let's see. So you showed me, what was that other one called again? That you just the showed I, me? The one I just played for you is called Fake Friends. So, okay, you showed me I Fake may, Friends. I may, I, may change, yeah. I may change that title because I don't really like it, even though it's about that. Um, I can come up with something better, I think where it doesn't have to be like, okay, this is the title of the song, because the word fake friends isn't even in the song, but I oh, just okay, wanna, yeah. I, I just titled it that, because my when I go in the studio, the engineer's like, what's the title of this? Every time I go record my vocals. So I just give him the title I think it might be, but it could change later, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know what? I would say, I would say let's hear the, um, the King one. Oh, that's yeah. a good choice, brother. <laughs> you about to get blessed one time. Oh yeah. So I, I, I let a few people hear these these songs before, you know what I'm saying? And and I just they're all like, dude, God is definitely putting an anointing on this music and I'm just I'm blown away, bro. Like to be real with you, bro. I know it's me rapping, but it's the Holy Spirit, the power of God that's moving through these songs. So with that being said, this is the king and we'll see what it do. You ready? Oh yeah. Give it up one time for the king. There's power in his name if you know what I mean. Been trying to shut him down, but they can't, so we sing. From a sinner to a saint, be the ones on the swing. Swing low, swing high towards the sky. Swing low, sweet chariot to die. We're all slaves just in a different way. We got different masters, all different ways. Going about our day to day. Some live hard, some in the grave. Spiritually dead and don't even know. Following the world and going with the flow on a one way street towards the lake of fire. The flames never go out, only grow higher. And burn hot, so many liars. Who can you trust when you're lost and you're tired? You wanna give up, don't choose your desires. Choose Jesus, he is the lighter. Don't quit now, I know you're a fighter. I promise he'll take you higher. Give it up one time for the king. There's power in his name if you know what I mean. Been trying to shut him down, but they can't, so we sing. From a sinner to a saint, be the ones on the swing. Give it up one time for the king. There's power in his name if you know what I mean. Been trying to shut him down, but they can't, so we sing. From a sinner to a saint, be the ones on the swing. We're in the last days and we've all been right. You're wearing that mask, but you don't fear God. You fear your boss and losing your job. You fear the police and the bill and mine. Black lives matter, but so do the rest. We all got our hearts and feet and we're blessed. You woke up this morning and you're stressed. You tried everything except for the best. Jesus Christ is the only thing left. The only thing right in this world that's a mess. It ain't about sin, it's about your sin. You break the God's laws and you're doing it again. And again and again and again. And that's the thing about the sin. Sin. It'll lead you to your death, you can't win. You need Christ to become born again. Give it up one time for the king. There's power in his name if you know what I mean. Been trying to shut him down, but they can't, so we say. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah, no, I honestly, out of all of them, that one's definitely my favorite now. <laughs> it's my new favorite one for sure. That's your favorite? Why? I don't know, just just the vibe of it. I I like all of them, but that one's just like, I don't really? know, like that's yeah, your so, favorite real talk, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You want you want to know the song that inspired me to to to? Oh man, I I can't even tell you because then like this will just go viral, bro. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> let you hear just something just to let you 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 chew on this one for a second. You let me know who I'm talking about in the song. You ready? Oh, okay. Here we go. Woo! That beat is hot. Hold on, oh, bro. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta find the right one, bro. That's the that was that was the first go around. Let's see if I got the right one, man. You got it. You got to hear the final mix, bro. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't let you go out like that. 
All right. <laughs> I got I got I got to do it justice, man. Bless you one time, bro. I appreciate oh, yeah. you, man. Let me let me share with you, bro. You already know, man, how much I love the Lord, <clears throat> what he's done in my life. Um, you know what he's doing in your life. He's using all of our platforms because you know as a as a pastor in the pulpit, you can only reach so many people. I believe the thing that the church needs to realize is is that the hip hop culture is the biggest thing in our society all over the world. And if and if pastors could understand that the gifts and talents that God gives us, whether it's me, you, or whoever else is a creative, if the church would start embracing us, they would start yeah. seeing this lost generation that truly needs to know Christ. Just imagine... Like, you know, when you listen to K-Love Radio or you listen to, um, I don't know what stations you have out there, but K-Love, Air One are the two biggest ones. Then you got the Yeah, I, we have those ones out here too, yeah. Okay, you got those. So you know their formula, their format. They play the same songs over and over again. So imagine, yeah. imagine them getting a shot in the arm with like the song that I just played for you. Imagine right. how people would re react to that and how, how many people... It would it would minister to, and at the same time, it would open up another door for K Love and Air One to get more people to listen to the music. Because I feel like if we're a church, we're the body of Christ, and we're united. You can't just say, "Okay, I'm only going to play this kind of music over here. We're going to play this kind of music." So we're basically divided when it comes to musicality. How are we yeah. going to make How are we going to make a real impact in our in our world if we don't decide to finally come mm -hmm. together? Whether you worship the Lord through country music, rock music, pop music, hip hop, rap, whatever label you want to put on it, we should all be coming together and showing the world how God is using us to show him how much he loves them. That's that yeah. simple, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, Oh, yeah. So, so with that being said, brother, check it out. Who am I talking about? Woo! It's hot. <laughs> Listen, bro. Man, this beat is stupid, though. <laughs> I feel one death by death day. Things just seem to go my way. Even if it rains, I'll stay. Everything's gonna be okay. Got that chunky lemonade. Don't you throw no shade my way. Even if it rains, I'll stay. Everything's gonna Okay. Mind over matter, I don't listen to the chatter, the negativity ladder, climb up or climb down, I don't care, you be wasting your time coming over here, I ain't with these silly mind games, I got a whole list, I can name names, y'all phony, stay in your emotions, sipping on that stay here to potion, play your part, stop trying to play mine, everyone ain't a rapper, that's fine, but I be seeing so many rapping, they don't glorify God, they be acting, talking about me behind my back, it just shows me where your heart's at, can't stand that guy, made me hotter, I'm on fire for Christ, why you buy a else on the mic that's garbage that's trash but you all just get a free pass why is that i don't know maybe they're afraid one day you're gonna blow just want to hang out and look cool might get a record deal boy you a fool ain't nobody gonna sign you bro you're instagram famous though i'm just a nobody who knows somebody who's trying to save everybody he's made a way for your body all you gotta do is say yes body jesus christ is the only way body let's go i'm so with your body come on bro Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, you're getting to hear a glimpse of what the album's going to be like and sound like and the vibe, bro. I'm telling you, the guy who I'm working with, his name is Ramon, right? Yeah. But he goes, but he goes by the name Cabbage Head Beats. So what happened was I met this, um, this, this, this kid named Little Reba, and I started making songs with his beats, his production. Then I met somebody named LYC Jag. Then I met somebody named Warman Beats out of, uh, he's out of Canada. 
And so the songs I did with them, I thought they were good, but I was looking for that signature sound, like that sound that would fit like what I'm trying to do, you know, with, with what God's blessed me with. And so once I yeah. came upon some girl, I guess, heard my music and she told him to reach out to me. So he oh. reached out to me. I heard his music on Beat Stars. And when I heard the song Happy, the beat, I said, oh, boy. And I and I know when I when I saw his beat, I saw that Bizzle liked his beat on his Instagram. So oh, I said, OK. So that means Bizzle had his ear to the song. But I want to yeah. thank but I want to thank Bizzle for not jumping on the song because right. it gave me the opportunity to, to write happy to it. You get what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you know? exactly. So I actually have Bizzle to thank for that and I appreciate him not jumping on it cuz I believe Happy's going to cross over. Like when that song gets released, bro, you know yeah. what I'm talking about, you know, mentioning, you know, the things I'm mentioning, you heard the song. It's 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 a it's a song that's going to make people like open up their eyes and be like, "Dang, did he just say that?" You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. But also it's a feel good song. Like when you hear the beat the chorus, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just really excited, bro, to be real with you, man. I'm glad you're letting me share with you. Um, all the people that follow you, bro, they're getting a glimpse of like how the album's coming together. And I can't wait till it's done, bro. Cause I'm telling you this album is to me when it's all said and done, I will put this album up against anybody's rap album. Like for real, I'm not talking yeah. about right now. I'm talking about any rap album that you've ever heard. I would put this album up with any album. Oh yeah, from a, definitely. From, from a from a production standpoint, lyrical content, songwriting, um, rhyme patterns, delivery flows, whatever you want to call, you know, everybody has their own criteria for what's good. I yeah. know I know even if I wasn't on the beats, just the beats alone are the hottest. And I told him yeah. when I when I discovered his music, I said, Bro, I can't believe you're not famous. I can't believe that nobody discovered you yet. And he said he felt the same way about me when I jumped on his thing. I said, well, that's confirmation God brought us together because we're two guys yeah. that were, what I say, underestimated and we're unknown, but God is going to do his thing and we're going to see what happens in the near future. That's that's how I'm looking at it. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I can't wait till the album's done, bro, so I can send it to you, man. You could just knock that thing, man. You and your okay, yeah, yeah. And, and, and your friends and family, whatever, man. You guys just put that thing on, man. From beginning to end, I promise you will not be disappointed, bro. Yes, and I will definitely um, do a review on like a whole podcast episode on it, and I will have you on that episode. I've never had anyone else do an album review, but I'll have you on there so we could get little commentary for each song, and you could tell me what kind of inspired each song. It'll be okay. something really cool for you, too. That, that sounds cool, man. I appreciate that, bro. That'd be awesome. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And is it going to be on Spotify and stuff like that? or? Yeah, yeah. Right now, the the first date, the, my debut single, Why, is on Spotify. Um, like I said, it just went to radio in Chicago. So we'll see, oh, okay, where, yeah. we'll see where it goes from there. And then, like I said, you know, a couple of people that I linked up with, um, they're going to start helping me promote and push this out to the world. So... Oh, okay, I'm, yeah, excited. I'm excited, bro. The next couple months is gonna is gonna be big. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Um. So one thing that did kind of pop into my head, um, since you said that you would put it against like any album and stuff like that, have yeah. you um ever listened to Track Stars, like their podcast and stuff like that, or any um, other content? I, I've I've seen their little uh, snippets that they throw up on their page, but I've never listened to a whole podcast. Okay, so um, they do um, I think they do it every week. It's called Line for Line. So they get someone from the Christian hip hop side and they choose one of your songs to go up against someone from mainstream and they play it. <laughs> yeah, they play it side by side. And then everyone that's in the room, they kind of vote who they think is, you know, they like better or whatever. So like I would suggest trying to get into their community <laughs> and try to do that because they've been opening it up for like a lot more Christian rappers instead of okay. just choosing like, the Andes or Lecrae's or Bizzles, yeah, yeah. they're starting to choose the other guys now to yeah, put yeah. against them. I'm a, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I don't think like like because when I look at you know the the hip hop you know genre, rap genre, whatever you know what I'm saying you want to call it. I think you have rappers like myself yeah. who are who are rappers slash songwriters. Then you have straight lyricists, battle yeah. rappers like a Dayton. So to me, you can't really put like say you put my song next to Dayton 
lyrically, he's probably gonna just murder me on 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 like if you put my song against his, he'll murder me in the verses. But when you yeah. listen to the actual song, the musicality, and then you get to the chorus, which is the most important part, I oh, believe yeah. that I believe that's what's gonna separate somebody like me from Dayton. I'm just being real. No knock against oh, yeah. Dayton. I think he's a great lyricist. You know what I'm saying? Um He's one of the best that are out there. So, oh, obviously, yeah. so obviously I'm not hating on the guy. I'm just looking at it from a realistic standpoint. You have rap artists, songwriters, yeah. and then you have straight lyricists, battle rappers. Oh, you yeah, know? exactly. And the, and the only one that I know, well, there's a handful of them. Eminem is one of the only battle rappers, lyricists, that actually was able to cross over and become a mainstream artist because all yeah. his songs were so catchy um you know like he he was able to to take that battle rapping lyrical you know phenomenal like skill set and, yeah. and kind of like take that gift that he had and now let me hook you up with these beats by dre we're gonna kind of like have you ride over these beats now so i think eminem was able to adapt as an artist to do both and it's yeah. not easy and it's not easy because if it was everybody would do it you know what I'm oh saying? yeah oh yeah exactly and the only reason i brought up uh brought up the track star thing is because they do it a little different they find a mainstream artist that yeah. um their song or maybe just how they rap or whatever is very similar to the christian one so they okay. never like mix match like a lyricist to like a songwriter or something they always try to find something that's very yeah. similar whether the beat is or just the flow or something yeah, where yeah. like it's an even like match up so so, so yeah. you're not gonna see dayton versus kodak black is what you're saying no not at all like um i uh, <laughs> no like, knock, no knock yeah. against kodak you know what i mean he just got out yeah. of jail that's awesome i hope that he finds the lord bro i really do you know i hope all these guys you know, oh, yeah. like at some point, you know what I'm saying, they, they come to a saving faith in Christ, bro. I really do. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. The, um, yeah. Speaking of that, the John Gabbana guy, which was once called Bunk, he just gave his life to God. So that was pretty cool. Man, awesome, bro. Praise yes. the Lord, bro. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. So, um, what? Oh, yeah. So when you were playing me the last song, um, the King one, uh, <laughs> one thing that popped into my head out of um, this was like the first like christian hip-hop song i ever heard and it yeah. was actually on 106 and park which i was very surprised that it made it on there it wow. was um yeah it was triple e and tadashi called real vision okay. and like that video of how they did the video that's exactly what popped in my head for like a visual for that song the king so i would like look you that know, up and just check it out <laughs> you want to know what i'm gonna watch that but when i when i recorded that song i thought about shooting the video in israel like that's oh. how like in my mind i'm like if i ever get an opportunity to go visit you know i don't want to give out too much because then all the christian rappers are like dude i'm going there bro i'm gonna shoot my video there <laughs> i don't even know if they allow you to shoot videos there but i would love to walk the streets of jerusalem because i've seen footage of it it's beautiful oh and yeah to be able, and to be able to shoot a music video over there in the holy land i think would be powerful you know what i'm saying oh yeah definitely i think so they hold on hold on because i hold yeah. on if you see any christian rapper after this interview go over to israel and shoot a video before i get to it, you already know this is where they got the idea because i ain't never yeah, heard nobody exactly. i haven't heard nobody talk about it yet so we'll see all right bro oh yeah exactly i, I got you <laughs> and but yeah it happen, and if it happens you'll have a you'll have a you'll have a flight out there with us bro you come hang out with us Okay, yeah, that's definitely on my bucket list for sure. Yeah, is to go to I, wanna, I, want, I want to get to Jerusalem, bro, for real. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I want to do it in my lifetime for sure. That's like the biggest thing I want to do. Uh, man, <laughs> man God, God willing, we're going to get there, brother. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yep, exactly. But, yeah, check out that song with Trip Lee and stuff. Um, so Trip, Trip, it, Trip Lee and Tadashi? Yeah, it's called Real Vision, I believe. Yeah. Okay, Real Vision. I'll check it out as soon as we get off this. Yeah, because I'm um, pretty much like um it's like trip lee he's like on the street corner with a big megaphone and like you literally see the lyrics coming out of the megaphone and oh, it's okay. like he's preaching to everybody on the yeah, corner yeah. So that's, that's kind of like the vibe i got a little bit from that song i was like okay i, I could see something like that I, I like that that's cool man that's dope oh yeah definitely so 
um, anything, any other things coming up or anything like that besides like the homeless outreach and then the album and stuff um, like that? Well, right now, just staying busy, you know, obviously, you know, in the studio, just trying to record as many songs as I can because we don't know, man, like what's going to, you know, come about this whole, you know, pandemic, um, virus, all these restrictions, bro. It's just, it's bananas, bro. It's really crazy what's going on. All we can do is just stay busy, keep doing yeah. what we were doing before all this happened. And, you know, just when, whenever you get opportunities, man, to 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 get out there and, and share your faith with people and, and let them know, you know what I'm saying, like what God's doing in your life, you know, those opportunities will come. God will open those doors, you know what I'm saying, in his time. So I know they're coming, bro. If God, if God could just open your eyes and say, hey, here's your whole life, this is what's going to happen. How, how, how exciting would that be? It wouldn't be exciting. It's exciting to go on the journey, to not really know exactly yeah. what's coming. You just know when, when, when God puts people in your path that that's confirmation. That's somebody that the Lord wanted you to, you know what I'm saying, either connect with or minister to or love on, whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, exactly. Because um, this guy just um, started at my work like uh, two weeks ago. Okay. And like, um, so I go and clean community centers. So that's what I do for my job. So okay. um, we dropped him off at one of the community centers. So at the end of the day, I had to go pick him up. And like he got in the van, we were heading back. And then out of nowhere, he's just like, what kind of music do you listen to? And I was like, um, <laughs> like a little bit of everything, to be honest. I was like, what about you? Like, who's someone you're listening to right now? And he's like, Andy Minio. I was like, huh. I was like, I'll come across that very that's, often. That, that, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, so, like, we just started talking then. He was like, yeah, he's like, I'm a Christian rapper out here in Albuquerque. Have yeah. a production, like, company that's and awesome. all these different things. I was like, oh, okay. So, I'm going to have him on the podcast oh, pretty soon, cool, too. Man. So, that's oh, dumb, yeah, man. and maybe eventually I'm going to try to – I'm trying to get back into making music again. I haven't wrote in a little while. So, oh, I got to uh -huh. – so – Little disclaimer, I'm going to help finish my friend's verse because okay. he kind of has got half of it, but he needs my, like, skill to kind of write the rest because he likes the way I write. So I was like, okay, I got you. I, I so I'm going to write I for him. I, I didn't know you made music, bro. Um, Yeah, it's been a while. And honestly, before, like, I didn't really, like, have anyone to go and, like, mix and master. So I just kind of just left it, the audio how it was. So it didn't sound the best. Yeah, yeah. But... I feel like if I actually got a good mix and master, I think it would actually come out pretty dope. So I'm going to yeah. help him finish his verse. And then he said I could add a verse to it. So I'm going to hop on it. And then I'm going to work. So my goal probably this year is to try to put out one spoken word out a month with a video. And then just kind of slowly get that stuff going along with all my other content that I'm trying to do. Okay. And then the dude from work said... If, if I ever want to, I could try to hop on a song with him, too. So I'm like, okay, cool. I like that, bro. So you're starting to meet some people you can collaborate with. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. And then my good friend, the one I'm finishing the verse for, he's he's been struggling with his faith a little bit. So he's been okay. trying to really get into it. So hopefully once I kind of help him go back to getting into church and stuff, we can start doing more music again together. So we'll see how Man. that goes, too. <laughs> I, like, I like that, bro. You know, that's one thing I wanted to tell you, you know, like it would be nice when you're when you're being, you know, creative to work with all people that are like minded. But that's yep. not necessarily the case, especially for, you know, brothers like you and me and other people I know out there. There's going to be people you work with that are still kind of lost, that are still struggling in their yep. sin, who God is going to bring in our path to actually minister to and just be a living testimony so they can see you know what you're doing and how you conduct yourself is different than what they're doing you know because if two people yeah. say they're christians and one person's cussing all the time and and doing all kinds of crazy things that we know ain't from god and then you're seeing somebody else living out their walk you know trying to live holy then there's a difference you know what i'm saying like you're gonna you're gonna pick up on that and then hopefully it'll rub off on these people you know they'll start asking questions and you know all we can do is love on them bro that's basically you know what i'm saying like just love on them and tell them the truth, bro, because somebody has to tell yeah. them the truth. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, exactly. I agree with that. You know, because if you have people come on your path and you lie to them and you compromise, you're going to be held accountable for that. 
And I don't, yeah. I don't ever, I don't ever want God looking down on me like, man, I gave you all these opportunities, bro. Like, what did you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to just, yeah. you know, your heavenly father, bro. So. Oh yeah, exactly. Every morning, because I go to work like at five in the morning. So oh, I'll go wow, warm up, up my, early. yeah. So I usually um, warm up my truck and then I'm on the little U version Bible app. So I just do oh, the okay, little cool. daily plans and stuff. So I do yeah. my little devotional, read that. And then as I'm driving to work, I'll yeah. turn my music off for a second for like a few minutes. And then I pray. I'm just like, God, just what, thank you for letting me wake up today and yeah, yeah. also get out of bed because I probably didn't want to. <laughs> but and then <laughs> I'll so just funny. like and then I'm just like, um, whatever comes in my path throughout the day, let me be a light to them and yeah. let me be Christ like and let me just show your love and your mercy every single day with every opportunity or person or whatever I come across for the day. So that's always my prayer every day. And like, no matter what I always see, uh, even if I don't notice the opportunity, if I'm trying to be like Christ, then I know at least I didn't like waste the opportunity, even if I didn't see it, because I'm still trying to pour out his love and his kindness to everyone around me. So, bro, that's so crazy. Just listening to you right now, it put a smile on my heart, bro, because exactly what you just said is how I pray when I get up in the morning, go for my morning jog on my halfway point, because it's by the, the college, uh, Cal State Northridge, where I, where I live. And so I go to the college, sit down by this waterfall, and then I just lift up my prayers. I, and I start my prayer. I said, Lord, thank you for waking me up this morning. Um, we know we know tomorrow's not promised. Please, you know, use me today and whatever fashion you choose and and to glorify your name to love on people man it's crazy bro like just to hear you say what you said and then i do the same thing in my own way it just shows you man man how 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 not we're hungry for the for for the truth and 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 to please him but at the same time we're so grateful and we're and we're we know we're not we know we're not worthy bro like like why why are us, bro? Like we're like who are we at the end of the day? You know, obviously we're his creation, yeah. but like when you think of it in terms of like who are we, you will look at things in the proper perspective. You won't get in the flesh yeah. and be like, I'm somebody special. Cause once you think you're somebody special in the sense of like I'm too cool and I'm better than you, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna have God humble you, bro, when you least expect it. I'm being dead serious. Because we, yes, we all exactly. we all we all can go through it. There's nothing wrong with having confidence in Christ because as long as you glorify God and you say, hey, like if like earlier when I said, I think this album, I put it up against anybody. I only say that because God is the one that anointed this. Every song yeah. that I hear, I'm like, dude, this is insane. Like, is it really this good? Am I tripping? Do I have terrible ears? Do I not know what's good? <laughs> I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I know that God is just, you know, it's, it's that confirmation, you know what I'm saying? Because you hear the songs and, and, you know, then I hear you talking about how you pray. And then I know I pray. I'm like, man, this is beautiful, bro. It, it's really, a, it's a very humbling experience. You know what I'm saying? To know where you came from and where you're at now, you know, like God is so good to us, bro. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. So another thing that I definitely want to kind of do. So you're the first one to hear it. Cause okay. I just kind of been thinking about it. All right. So, um, since we're still kind of the beginning of like um, the year, I have I have an interview coming up with Tommy Positivity. He's the other guy I've interviewed before, and okay. then the guy from work, and then um, I'm supposed to interview the Robbie Marks person. So I'm gonna be interviewing you're gonna, him. You're gonna, you're gonna interview my boy Robbie Marks. <laughs> yeah. How did that? I, come, I, how did that come uh, about? Um, he commented on one of my things like during the week. I was like, "Hey, we still need to do that interview that we talked about like a year ago." And he was like, "Yeah, yeah just let me know." So I was like, "Okay, cool." So I want to try to do like one big interview where we just all get on a Skype call all together and just kind of like lay out the goals like for ourselves for the whole year, just like pray for each other and just you know maybe like build you know network like with each other. I like that. <laughs> I like that, bro. Whenever you get that ready, let me know. We'll all jump on together. That, oh yeah, be, definitely. That, that, that'll be a, that'll be a nice situation, man. For real, I'm down. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, and then so 
this is kind of like my own merch that I make. I've been making Man, my merch for a little look, bit. Look at yeah. that. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I have like five or six different designs so far. Okay. So like the people I network with, I just want to send like a free sweater or T-shirt. So I'll send you the designs. You let me know which one you like. And if you yeah. want a sweater or a T-shirt and then your size and I'll send it to you. So I'm just trying to When you say do sweater, you, do you mean hoodie? Yeah, a hoodie. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You send me the designs. I'll pick the one I really like. I, I mean, I'm sure I like all of them, but the one I think will look the best. Because when I get ready to shoot the music video, why I want to have a few different looks, and I'm gonna okay, be yeah. A few different, I'll be wearing a few different hoodies. I'll be wearing, obviously, either black baseball hat because black goes with anything. So I'm, oh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a darker look in this video. So probably all black, okay. maybe maybe some other color to to offset the black. But I, I would definitely want a black hoodie. I think black hoodies look really good. The one you're wearing looks dope. So I might as well just go with that. And I'll and I'll definitely wear I'll rock it in the video. Like I'll, I'll Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah, come that. On, come on, bro. It's all love, bro. Oh yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yep, so I'll send you the designs. You choose which one you want. I'll even stop, <laughs> stop the music video, say, bro, this is my boy. Check it out. You see this hoodie right here? Yeah, you gotta go, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But anyway, I really will rock it. Cause I wanna, I wanna have a few different looks, like I told you, and I like that thing, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's that's cool, man. That you're doing your own little merch, and uh, hopefully it'll take off. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, because we all gotta find revenue streams to be able to continue to be on, you know, the platform you're on, the people you're trying to reach, and and it keeps going back into that whole ministry. You know what I'm saying? Whatever God's putting on your heart. That's where the money goes back to. It's not like you just get all your, you know, your money that you're you're accumulating. You just go out and buy a big mansion and, and drive around in a Maybach and hang out with right. all the. It's not like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, so I, exactly. So I, so, I, so I think as long as you keep putting the music back into the ministry, I think God is pleased with that. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, I totally agree on that. So yeah, I'm down with that, bro. Let me know, man. The 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 thing with Robin and and uh, what's his name, Tommy. Yeah, Tommy, and then the other guy is, um, I don't know exactly how he says his stage name, but um, okay. he's him and his brother, they're called Zeb Gang. Okay, cool. Well, whoever you decide to put on in the group, I'm down, bro. Just let me know. Okay, yeah, definitely. And then let me know when you get this thing done, because I want to hear it. I think, I think it was pretty funny, some of the parts we were talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. I think I'm going to release it probably the end of next week, and then I'll let you know. Okay, appreciate you, brother. Oh, yeah, of course. Just like the last time, man, prayers up for you and your family, bro. Stay safe. Thank you. And we'll talk soon, my brother, for real. Oh, oh, yeah. Prayers to you and your family and your job and everything and the homeless outreach that you're doing, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. yeah. And, then when the al and when the album's done, I'll let you know, bro. I'm going to send it your way so you can vibe with it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Thank you. Okay, my brother. Appreciate you, bro. Be blessed. Oh, yeah. Yep, you too. All right.